Hey guys, this is Freddie Wong. I got some hair extensions this week. <laughs> hey guys, this is Kaylin Young, and today I'm here to teach you how to key in After Effects. Keying is a really important part of visual effects, mainly because it helps you to isolate an object so you can put it with any other backgrounds or environments in post. So today I'm going to show you how to key the bus flip in Ashram's film budget video, which is a replication of the epic bus flip in the Rocket Jump Hulu show. So this obviously was done on a budget and Lauren and Joey, we, you know, they shot this footage out in the parking lot on green screen. Yeah! That's good. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I think we got it. That's the one. And while I love them, they probably should use blue screen for this particular shot and we'll get into that in a little bit. So first what we want to do is we want to create a garbage mat. So what we're going to do just right on the layer is we're going to select the pen tool and we are just going to draw a rough shape to indicate where our green screen is. So this is what my garbage mat looks like right now. And we're calling this a garbage mat to just get rid of everything else that we are not keying. So now we're going to key this bus um, using the built-in keyer in After Effects called Keylight. So in the effects panel, I'm going to type in Keylight. And I'm just gonna double click, or you can drag and drop this onto your footage. So in Keylight, there's a couple functions that will get rid of the green screen. First one is screen color, and there's an eyedropper. So you just wanna click that. So you can just select the color green, and that will get rid of the most of the green for you. So one of the problems you're gonna run into is there's a little bit of green present in yellow, and also they're very close together in the color wheel. So whenever you're trying to get rid of everything green, sometimes you get this orangey, red and kind of murky color and there's a couple ways of fixing that if you isolate the layer that you're working on right now just by clicking this button so under replace method the default is set to soft color and when you bring that to source it will give you back this vibrant yellow color there's many ways of fixing keying yellow on green screen but I found that this is the easiest way of bringing that back color. One thing I like to do is instead of final result up here, I like to switch it to screen mat. And th what this gives you is a black and white image of your alpha mat. Ideally, you want your alpha mat of your subject to be completely white and you want whatever the green screen was to be completely black because whatever is white in the alpha mat is whatever you're keeping and whatever is black is gonna become transparent. So under the screen mat, I'm gonna mess around with the clip black and clip white until I get the background to be completely black, and then the truck to be completely white. Sometimes though, you know, you can see that you can't get it 100%. Sometimes when your truck is completely white, you know, you're gonna be introducing some artifacts on the side, and we'll get to that later, but ideally you just want your main subject to be, the matte to be white. So then, when you go back to final result, this is what it looks like. So now that we have our green screen mostly gone, we're gonna see that right here, we have a little bit of noise. And what's great about having made that garbage mat is you can just kind of bring in this edge and just get rid of that because the truck never really hits this side of the frame anyway. So now we're gonna to go to the foreground color correction and we're gonna enable color correction. And right here is where you can tweak a little bit more of the brightness of the yellow. So after you bring back the color of your truck, there's a couple of other tweaks to get this looking as good as we can. One of the things is screen softness. And what this does is it kind of just softens the edges of your truck to make it not so harsh. So we can soften a little bit and we can come back and tweak this after we have married these two layers together, the, um, the truck and the background to see what looks more natural. So now we keyed most of the green, but there are still a little bit of green present. So we're gonna be using um, spill suppression. We're typing it in, it's called spill suppressor. And once you add this to your layer, you're gonna select the eyedropper and you're gonna select a color green. And you see right away that it kind of adds this purple-ish color to it. So if you turn it on and off, it kind of just takes a little bit of that green away and just adding a little bit more blue to it. So now we're just gonna put this with our background and see how it looks. The 
this uh this looks pretty good for um having it being twenty dollars <laughs> so this concludes our intro to keying i hope you found this helpful and there's still a lot of work to be done to make this shot look more believable and we're going to be covering those in upcoming videos so for now feel free to download this project file and all the videos that we shot for this project in the description and ask us questions and i hope you guys can get started you know doing some of the keyings yourself